So we'll be starting uh, in about an hour from now uh, from DeLonghi, our brand new air conditioners. But before we get to that, we had a great show that's all about kitchen needs and kitchen items that you may need. We have a brand new, it's called Kitchen Solutions, by the way. We have a brand new item I'm really excited about because uh, I'm pretty passionate about making sure your knives are sharp. I worked in the restaurant business for 18 years, and I will tell you right now, the only dangerous knife in the drawer is the one that's dull. Why? Because you always have to exert more pressure when you're slicing and chopping and dicing on a dull knife. So you have to keep your knives very, very sharp. The problem is most of the uh, sharpeners that you see at the local store are pretty much garbage. They don't really work. Until now, we've come up with one, or Bavarian Edge has come up with one, that actually has a diamond dust coating. Your knives are gonna be ra razor sharp with minimal effort. It's only $22.95. Tim Wilkins is here. Tim's gonna tell us about it. And Tim, I will tell you, this thing this thing should win awards for design. It's a beautiful, uh, gee, normally they're very industrial and they're kind of chunky. This is a beautiful piece of art here. And, and normally they grind down your knives. Those sharpeners you right. see with the wheels and the motors in them will grind down your knives. Right. This actually has two spring-loaded, spring-action oh, yes. wheels here yeah, in the back move here a little that bit. flex. And then if I turn it just right, you see this little silver piece right here. That's the tungsten carbide sharpeners okay. with the micro diamond dusting on it. And when this flexes and opens, when these actually open, they open to get to the right angle for every blade. Because every knife is a little bit of a different thickness and, and size. And it does serrated blades, it does Japanese blades. You okay. can open up your kitchen shears and do those. Now, here's the beauty. What have we done for years, Guy? A little fun fact. I actually grew up working in my, my family's butcher shop yeah. and learned to sharpen. Of course, we did it back in the old I days. I never liked those like things. Like this. Yeah. They tell us now that's very dangerous. So what you end up doing, you actually have to keep this at a 15 degree angle to sharpen. Yeah. I wasn't good in geometry. No. And this is just going to wear your knives yeah, out. They don't work. No. I, you know, I, and listen, you know, unless unless you have the things treated all the time, and you'll see professional chefs use them, and they do it so quickly, but you have to, pretty much you have to use that honing stick every day uh, to keep them sharp. Constantly. It, they, it doesn't put the kind of edge on that this will. So how well, does it work? Now, you saw me going tip down like this. This is yep. actually putting a coarse sharpening on it, really getting the right angle on it. And then, this is my final. I'm going to do four or five with a light downward pressure. That's okay. all I'm doing, like that. Now, let's give this a little wipe and see the particles that actually, as opposed to wearing it down, you'll actually see, well, a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A really fine dusting of the metal. Of the metal that now, actually, well, that's, guy, you have to remove material to get it sharp. Stand back, my friend. All right. Stand way back. I don't want to get any pineapple juice on me. <laughs> that, my yeah. friend. That's is sharp. a sharp knife. Yeah, it really is. And and as I said before, the key the key to doing all your prep work and doing it properly without any real danger is you need a knife that is sharp. And you can see how Tim's doing this. And look at how it just goes right through. And normally you don't chop a tomato, you no, slice it. No, you slice it with a serrated you, edge. This shows you how quickly and easily that works. You ready? I'm gonna fan this open like it's a mandolin. Look at how beautiful, uh, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, look yeah, at how yeah, wafer nice. thin yeah. you can get your tomatoes. Look at how beautiful that so, is. So what kind of knives does it work on? You said it works on all of them? It works Pretty on, much. here's the beauty. It works on anything that will fit in there. And especially, this is one thing you normally couldn't do, your serrated knives. Here's the, here's the features. The fact that it opens and flexes, we mentioned this, those spring action tungsten carbine sharpeners actually open up to get at the different widths, thicknesses, lengths, depths of knife, the serrated yeah. edges, your Japanese Santoko knives. Right. Um, kitchen shears, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, check this out when I come back to this serrated knife. I get a bowl down there, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Here, here's where it is. You put this at about a 35 degree angle, but you wanna see which side the serrated edge is on and then that just opens up to be exactly the right angle. Oh yeah, see how it fits right and down in there. And it flexes yep. to sharpen those knives. I'm gonna give that a few spins, there, there it is right there. And now, I should have done a nice before and after here, but this is gonna fall through this bread that would normally be too soft. Mm -hmm. Look at that, just falling through this beautiful bread. All right, so here's what I'll tell you. $22.95 is the price out of the gate. Um, you know you've seen the $30 and $40 and $50 um, plug-in models. I, I prefer to do it this way because I think it's the best way to get the edge is to hold it in your hand. Um, you're gonna grind the you-know-what out of your knives. They're not gonna very, last very long if you use a, a lot of the powered machines if you don't know how to use them properly because those you don't put any pressure on. This you slightly move down and as it draws through, see it's, it's tungsten carbide is, is basically the material that, um, that it's coated with and then on on top of that, they put diamond dust, and diamond, of course, the hardest thing in the world. So the diamond is what helps to remove the material with the tungsten. And I've, you know, I've had a, a tungsten sharpener 
at my house for years. It's actually a piece of pure like tungsten uh, carbon steel, and it's the best way to sharpen knives. This has diamond dust too, so yeah, this this is this has the best of both worlds. Yeah. You see how that's flexing to get in this extra long uh, slicing knife here that I'm going to use on this ham. So mm -hmm. that's that's giving it that coarse sharpen. And then if I just change the angle with a light downward pressure, and yep. be sure to hold it with the other hand. That's what's going to give me my fine. Now, if I actually want to polish my sharpened knives and give them that beautiful sharp right. edge, a little back and forth on a horizontal, it's really that simple. No mortars, no plug in, no battery. And then this would be something that would normally be a little iffy. But if I want to make this sandwich thin, like my daughter likes on her sandwich, this, yeah. put this on a Hawaiian roll. Put that somewhere with some light Dijon mustard or some yeah, nice, nice German mustard. Well, not look everybody. How beautiful. People, most people don't own a slicer. No. no I <laughs> wish I did. I wanted one forever. So did I. But you know what? They take up way too much room and they're expensive. They're like 350 bucks. So I was always like, and then there's a little cheap plastic one, which you don't want to do. Get yourself a set of uh, decent knives. And I always say buy decent knives. Don't buy cheapo knives. We've got plenty of great knives here. And then buy yourself a decent sharpener. You know, for years, I used to yell at my brother, my, my older brother, Darren. I'd be like, dude, why are your knives? Every knife in his house was dull. And I was like, and it was like, oh, we just don't think about it. I'm like, yeah, but... You know, and then finally he started to, when he started to cook a little bit more, then he appreciated it, right? Where you need to have razor sharp knives. It makes your life so much easier in the kitchen. And there isn't a professional chef out there that doesn't have a way to sharpen knives. In fact, in the restaurants that I ran, we actually had a company that would come in and charge us to sharpen all our knives. Oh, we had it's so big many. business. Um, you can do this in the comfort of your own home with a great style as well. And, uh, and really get great results too. Now, that. I, I tell you, the story long before there were labor laws for child labor. That was me at 12 years old working in the family meat shop in Delhi. And I learned to sharpen knives. I learned to break down a side of beef, a hind quarter, a fore quarter, and really get this moving and work with knives. And I learned early on yeah. that a sharp knife is so much less dangerous. You've got, of and not to mention now yeah. as I started cooking, we both know from the restaurant business, when things are cut evenly, they cook yeah. evenly. Right. So a sharp knife yep. gives you better cuts and better even. Well, it, it's like anything else. I mean, you wouldn't go, you wouldn't uh, go to battle with, with, with a dirty, <laughs> with a dirty gun, right? No. You gotta maintain all your, all your tools and weapons and things like that. Well, you do. It's just anything that you have in your house, you have to make sure you maintain, especially items that can be dangerous. If you don't take care of them that's why they're dangerous right because you haven't maintained them properly um, and a knife honestly there's a, really the two things you have to remember this is my rule you don't have to go buy it about a knife is keep it razor sharp and then keep it in a place where nobody can hurt themselves with it okay that's why you normally have chopping blocks or you have a little cover that goes on your knives i'll give you one more tip how else would knives you like this? this never put these in the dishwasher no. Even though they say dishwasher safe, don't do it. Why? Not because it'll relatively hurt the knife, but it will with a wooden handle. But reaching into a dishwasher and all of a sudden there's a knife sitting in there and you happen to not see it, that can be dangerous. So this is the kind of stuff you can do. You ever wonder how, you know, chefs get out there and they can cut really fast? Uh, it's, it's, yes, it's, it's skills with a knife, but it's also the knife itself. You have to have a knife that is super sharp to be able to do paper thin slices like that's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's all about maintenance. And as I said, you know, if you're one of those people that never sharpens your knives or you wonder, you know, I can't do this. I, first of all, where's that little honing stick again? Let's show what, everybody that. So this is the way we've done it yeah. for years. And this is just to know the, just the perfect angle that 15 to seven, what, who knows what a 15 to 17 yeah. degree angle is to get this. And it's just honing. It's not really giving a coarse sharpen. Well, it's not it, giving you the degree of sharp. I, as we said, I've, I've, I know chefs and I've watched chefs over the years. I've spent 20 years in the food business and I've watched them and they do it. They have to sharpen them pretty much two or three times a day. Um, and the reason that, that a chef does that is because you're cutting on cutting boards and you're cutting on surfaces that dull the knife. It's not the fruits or vegetables that dull your knives. It's the board you're cutting on. Um, because, you know, a, 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 a tomato or a or uh, you know, a piece of um, a fruit is not gonna dull a knife. What dulls it is the surface that you're cutting on. This establishes that. This is actually really good animation that shows how it works. Can I try one no, too, Tim? Absolutely, try one, and then I wanna show you that steel and those other things cannot sharpen your serrated edges, your, your uh, shears that normally you pull these apart. Oh, wow. I can now sharpen these shears, so your kitchen shears are sharp enough. Yeah. So when you give your wife or your girlfriend or your husband those dozen roses, as they well deserve, it's Mother's Day in a couple of weeks, uh, next weekend as a matter of fact, yeah. Mother's Day, when you give them those roses, you're able to trim off those thorns and put them in there, trim off the can bottom and keep them alive. Tear you know it I'm good with a knife, so. Look at that. Look at how it falls through that. You're not putting extra pressure on that. That's a seriously sharp knife with just a few passes wow. through. 
the Bavarian Edge. Wow. It's the, the way that it flexes, the way those springs are made, that tungsten carbide sharpening surface. Look at that, how That's beautiful that is. a lot of slices. Is. All right, and, and again, if you look at these slices, right, these are, as Tim said, those are, that's amazing. And this, I can, put it this way, and I don't want you to do it, you can tell when it's sharp when you run your thumb kind of over the end, you know. There's also a test on the back of the nail um, that Paper. chefs do. Paper I would, actually you don't works need, too. Right, you don't need to do that at home, but this, I, and I can tell by by the way that cuts, how it's actually digging into the fruits and vegetables and, and you, you know what's a better, here, you're, you're a, that's a awesome. really good one with a knife. Yes. Here's another great test, if you're gonna use that knife, on a carrot, yeah, you're making that beautiful. Look, but look how evenly you're rocking that, and chopping. My bro. little rock and push there that I learned in chef school. Yeah, there it is, right there. But look at how easily that is without all that pressure, and you don't stand the the, the risk of that. Them. That is super cool, and, and and you are really. And remember, the key to sharpening a knife is you have to remove material, and that's what it does. It'll take a little bit of the knife off. That's why your knives are thick because you're taking the material off to keep them sharp. Stay on the line. Twenty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. It's on FlexPay. Eleven forty-eight. Brand new uh, and a great great deal and this is the top of the line you may have heard of Bavarian Edge this is the number one top of the line knife they have in their line so it's a great price for that especially when you think about what your what your uh, knives cost getting a great knife sharpener is worth the deal nice job thank, thank you, you Mr. Wilkins. Uh, hey I want to remind everybody coming up uh, Mark Gill is going to be joining